I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Firewatch. Welcome to Firewatch, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Transgender Tuesdays. It's not, it's not Tuesday. Well, I'm in a dress, so it must be. <laughs> Tell you what happened. Emma Blackery, okay, uh, over on her channel, Birdie Boots, released a Firewatch video, and I saw it come up on Twitter, and she was holding up a pair of panties, and the title of the video was, Warning, Lost Panties. And, um... I had one of those YouTuber moments where I went, oh, that video is going to get a bunch of views just for the title. Wish I could do that sort of a thing. <laughs> and a Steam code and an hour's worth of makeup later, here we are in Firewatch. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start a new game. I have not actually watched Emma's video, Emma, I love you. I saw that video title and went, ooh, ooh. I would be biting my knuckle right now, but it would mess up my lipstick, so I'm not going to. Campo Santo Presento Transgender Tuesdays. <laughs> Older Colorado. 1975, I had just gotten over this relationship I was having with this guy. He was a dick. I see Julia? No, no, you see Julia. Is that my name? Is that what we're calling? The Ronin, Ronin Ponita? Julia. What does you Julia? She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry. Do I look like a Henry? I worked so hard on this. Are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Oh, good. That's, that's, so they're accurate anyway. So what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Um, let's, let's just get straight to it. You, you're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. What? You're pretty, she says coolly. Ooh, she's talking, oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, we could be girlfriends. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Or girlfriend. You know, whatever way you want to swing it. Hey! All right, we're in! A elevator! Okay, um, I thought this was about hiking, but uh, apparently it's about the uh, it's metropolitan experience of dating in the big city. Uh, well, you know, transgendering it up. I'm gonna assume that, no, it's not A, is it B? No, it's X. Well, I'm using a, using a controller here. Is it, um, is it right trigger? Of all things, it's right trigger to pick something up on the controller. Okay, I'm good. Well, this is weird. I didn't think this was going to be this... F Are we playing um, the Stanley Parable all of a sudden? We're in a parking garage. Truck door, get in with right trigger. Um, where am I going? What am I doing? I don't know. You're the one who decided to put on makeup and wear a dress today. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. I, I, I like the t I like the upward tone, but I'm guessing it goes down pretty quick. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Oh, but ain't it? Julia wants to get a dog. No! Julia! It's gonna sh** all over the place. I'm not getting a fucking dog with you, bitch. Get out of my house. I told you it was gonna go downhill quick. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. A beagle or a German shepherd? You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket, or you adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Beagle or... See, I had... I had a, a basset hound. Basset hounds when I was younger. First the mother, then the daughter. Um... So a beagle is kind of in the nature of the hounds, but I I don't know. I don't want I don't want Julia to get hurt. She means so much to me. Julia, Julia, I love you. Have the beagle. Name him Bucket. You love the beagle. I love the I love you. So I love the beagle too. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. I just I just yeah. I know where you're going with this. 1979. 1979. Cool kids never have the time. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m. Your hair is getting stuck in your lipstick. Heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Um, they're fine from a distance. Kids are not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. Uh... Ooh, do we have kids or we not have kids? Listen, it's 1979, I'm very young. In fact, I am haven't been born yet. So I think we should just like, let's just, let's not jump into anything, okay? We should live together for more than, we should drink more styles of beers together than we already have before we decide to procreate. She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. 
Don't worry about what she should, should her, her clock is ticking, buddy. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, you and me, baby, we gonna, you know, and then we'll produce little jerks that we have to run around chasing for 18 years, trying to keep them from killing themselves. Okay, one day, she says, six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. We weren't even engaged and you were talking about children. Let's get, okay, Julia, can we just get things straight here? First, we go out on a date. End of that night, we have sex. Kids are way off in the future. Oh. Oh my god. I love the graphics in this game. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous and a little bit cartoony and a little bit cell shady and just lovely with the colors. Um, Thoroughfare Trailhead is ahead. Okay. Um, Two Forks Region Overview. I just want to where you are here. Where where are you are here? Where's that? It's not telling me where I are here. I can't find it anyway. Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with the bears. Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. No fireworks. Um. Okay. I'll leave the bottle rockets in the truck then. I don't exactly know where I'm going or why I'm going there, but it is brilliant and beautiful, so I'm pretty sure the reason that I'm doing it is because it's brilliant and beautiful. 1980, it's a th we're getting closer to my birth. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. I was, ooh, she didn't call. She hasn't been home for four hours. I'm getting angry. We got you that beagle you wanted, for Christ's sake. Okay, you can't even pick up a phone and let me know. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Do I get mad or do I ignore her? I get mad. I get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. Yeah, call me if you're gonna be out drinking with your buddies, with the girls. And I hope it was the girls or else there's gonna be a bigger problem. She tells you to woo yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. Whoa, I meant it. Listen, if you don't get angry, it means you don't care, right? If I just ignored it and let it blow off, then I don't, you know, it doesn't matter any to me that you step out on your own. Of course I care, and of course I'm gonna call you a piece of shit. 1981, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Aw. You pose and flex like a He-Man, or you frolic like, frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Well, And now I'm also wearing a skirt. Yes, like a Victoria's Secret model. Julia was right. You are very pretty. Stop. Stop. Oh, okay. Welcome back to the trail, everybody. Welcome back to me catching my breath after dancing and teeing like a Victoria's Secret model. Oh my. Oh wow, look at the sun. Look at the sunset. Look at the golden rays of shimmering, shining, lovely beauty uh, that is my face, and then also this game over here is just kind of nice too. Two, two forks! Okay, I brought the spoons, fire lookout. Space bar to climb over obstructions. I don't, I'm using, I'm using one of these, so what do you want me to do? Um, A? A to hop over obstructions, okay. So right trigger to pick something, oh. Oh. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Oh right, the dog. I was, <laughs> for a minute there, what's a, What's Bucket and why are we walking it? There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh God, Bucket. Um, I, did I train Bucket to rip people's throats out like I meant to? I might have forgotten. Bucket gets kicked. B b b the dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. Um, and should I scare him away or should I beat the living crap out? I would just scare him away. Fuck, it got kicked. Should I, should I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoo him off. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Bucket didn't like die or anything, right? Just Bucket got like a little bit of a bruise on, in the rib cage. Bucket's still here, right? 1984, plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Isn't that always the way? Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes back and forth. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter what I do. This is leading to an end. Well, if it's leading to an end, then I would rather... 
I would rather she be happy. Go ahead, and take the job, honey. You know, we'll see each other on the weekends. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you don't want to move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees she flies back to Boulder three times each semester. What? I meant every other weekend! Have you been, are you going around with the frat boys? 1985, Julie is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode? She lost it on a colleague for borrow, borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh, Julia. I always thought there was something wrong with her. My first uh, hint was that she was interested in me. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it, or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Let's let's just make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. You know, it's, the things happen. It works! You watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. Oh, what a sweet and lovely moment. I'm sure everything will work out from here. Um, you know, starting with my camp. Um, okay, I can't actually move from this space, but I can pick up my journal. Show me the journal. What have I been writing about all these, all these years? Oh my, oh, no, 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 kids. Don't, don't look at that. I didn't even get to read anything. If there was any text in there that was giving me hints about their relationship or storyline or something like that, all I saw was a large man with a penis. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. I don't think you should go back to the university, Julia. It's driving you mad. Like, I am your rock. I am what is keeping you grounded, Jules. Jules? I call her Jules, okay? It's, it's a little thing between, between girls. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Oh, oh okay. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. Wow. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day, but she gets worse. Mental health. Light and happy, airy sort of subject matter. 1988, you spend your days following Julie around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. Oh, Danielle, the nurse. Oh, God. He suggests that Julie, oh he, so it is Daniel, not Danielle. Okay, I was gonna say, I, am I that much of a cad? He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Yes, I am, by the way. Somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility or you are determined to take care of her by yourself. I mean, she was really young to, to already have this going on. She needs more care than I can give her. And she needs to be somewhere where she can live a better life than I can give her alone. So yeah, into a full-time care facility. I'm not just trying to shove off the difficulties in life and just, you know, go have fun and drink with my buddies, but... <laughs> okay, we're back in forest land. Um, lovely trail, lovely place to Oh, and there's a river down there. I wonder if I could get off the trail and head down to the river. Probably not. Uh, am I gonna hurt myself? Because it feels like I actually could. Okay, they're not gonna let me break my own leg. Good game, because I will do that. If you give me the chance, I am definitely going to break my own legs. Ooh, oh, I was just talking about breaking my own legs, wasn't I? Don't worry, I can navigate this very easily, just carefully, slowly, right over the top. In fact, I'm gonna stand. Oh, oh, that's very pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Keep going, keep, oh my God, shh, shh. Just gonna walk up really slowly and see. Oh, 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 just stop. Stop. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. My friend Greg has had exactly that experience walking through the forest, and just all of a sudden, you're like five, ten feet away from a deer, and neither of you noticed, and nobody moves for five minutes, is how he tells the story. And then he eventually starts to, and boom, the deer darts. Nature sure is beautiful. Why do I sit indoors recording YouTube all day? I don't know. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every single day. And then, every other day. And then, 
you go out to the bar with your old friends, it's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much and to insure your balls. 1989, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing you don't have any of your old friends anymore, because if this is, if you're gonna, with the sister after, and you're, and she's in the, mm mm. Months go by, Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. I guess that's a silver lining? Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Does it have to do with walking around in the wilderness? I think it does, and I think I want to keep playing this game next time on the Ronin Bawn channel. I am the Ronin Bawn. This is really good. This is really good. And an excuse to dress like a woman which I take, you know, hey, look, panties. I own panties. These are mine. I shouldn't have told you that. Pull on out!